big one that's Carla from Casey Creates. And I'm creating something a little different. I purchased a um, cup and saucer from Old Time Pottery. And I, I'm going to try, oops, that's my Mod Podge there. I want to decoupage it. I know you can decoupage pretty much anything. Um, I probably should have taken these stickers off ahead of time. So hang on one second. Okay, so I'm not sure what I was thinking. I needed to get the gummed label off of there first and clean it up some. But my goal is to Mod Podge beautiful napkins and decoupage tissue. I don't know. I just want to have a little fun experiment here. So some these are the napkins I just purchased and I'm just going to quickly decoupage on top of them. Oops, the garbage men have arrived. This one only has When the garbage men show up, it's like they've never been here before for him. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do one layer. Um, and my hope is that it'll tear off the edge without me having to do anything special. Because it'll be gluey. So let's see if I'm right. I'm just going to put a bunch of this on here. I should have brought some saran wrap over here, but we'll see. I'm going to stick this down. I'm just doing a little trial and error. We'll see if it's more successful then. I might jump up and go get some... Um, Saran wrap. We'll see how it goes. I actually don't mind a few little wrinkles. So, I'm going to cup it like that and see if I can just tear it. No, that's not going to work. What's this? The saran wrap? Oh. <laughs> this is what was on the actual cup. So I can just kind of lay that down with it and keep it from sticking to me and trim it off a little bit. You know, you go to the stores and you see such beautiful china and it's got wonderful prints on it and it's usually a very nice price, not too terribly expensive. But I thought I'd just kind of try my hand at decorating them myself. And Mod Podge is supposed to be um, waterproof. But of course, I don't know if I would drink out of it. But if you did put something on it, food-wise, it's non-toxic. And you could just wipe it clean with a warm soapy cloth and then let it dry. At least that's what I think. So I'm just going to use this piece of plastic to kind of smooth this on. I'm not going to do the other side, but I am going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on the edge here. And wrap it around the edge. I'm just messing. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. This is a craft with me. Let's experiment craft. So far so good. Did lift up a little bit there, but I'm going to actually layer a few more things on top. And then I'll decoupage the whole thing again. These are the doilies I bought, but I think they're a little too big. It'll cover the whole thing, but maybe, maybe I'll just do the 
inner circle of it and see how that looks. Or maybe just the lacy ring would be pretty. Let's see. Um, doesn't really show up, does it? But that's okay. I kind of like it. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to add a little more Mod Podge around the rim of the saucer. And then stick this down. Trying to beat the clock because I think my son's school bus will be here any minute. Not quite. I think I have time. Okay. I'm going to move you out just a teeny bit. Come on, don't be fussy. There we go. Oops. It is indeed sticky. I don't know if this is going to stay. Oh, there it goes. I think I can work it now. We'll just kind of blot it on. And maybe the dampness of the glue will make it stretch. That's what I'm going to hope for. So far, so good. Yeah, it's working. Okay. I don't even know if that'll show up, but it'll have a little bit of... Um, You'll see the, a little bit of the laciness of the doily that way. Okay, so there's the saucer. And make sure it's nice and glued down. And then the cup. I kind of want to do the same thing on the cup. I'm just going to put Mod Podge. I'm not going to do the inside. At least not at this point. Just call me crazy, but I might even try to drink out of it. It's not toxic. Can't hurt me, right? So I'm going to get another one of those pretty napkins. And peel it apart. And we'll see how it goes covering this. See what I'm doing here? Let's see. I'm gonna wet it around the edge here. I've been given that advice by a couple of you and told that if you do that, it'll tear there. And of course, you are right, because it is tearing nicely. Yay! I love sharing crafting with you guys and um, I love when you give me tips and advice. It's nobody's uh, steered me wrong yet. <laughs> Those things that I actually have a chance to try always work because you guys are masterful at this. You know, I'm an art teacher, but crafting hasn't really been my thing until the last couple years as far as well I mean I grew up doing all kinds of crafts but the type of crafts that I love to watch which are lace crafting and paper journals that was all really new to me and I'm so glad I have discovered it and can watch all of your wonderful videos for inspiration and this isn't anything but me just wanting to try something random and maybe you guys have already done this I know you can Mod Podge almost anything my sister's done lampshades and I've seen people do bottles I think um, but this teacup thing was just kind of in my head and I wanted to try it I was going to go on YouTube and see if I've seen any videos on it, but I didn't have a chance. So I'm just diving in, doing it my own way. I'm not sure there's a special way to do it or not. Um, and of course, I'm probably doing it a little messier than most people would. 
I wish I were neater at what I do. But I do think it's going to turn out in the end. So let's keep going. I demo my pottery projects every week in the pottery classes that I teach. And I'm beginning to really like it. I used to be nervous. And I've done it for many years. And it took me many years to just feel really comfortable in my skin. So who knows why I'm trying to do this on video that many can see if they want. I think it's because I don't call myself teaching you anything. I call myself just crafting in front of you. And if I crash and burn, I crash and burn. Because I'm just kind of having fun here. And I really love you guys as far as the crafting community. It is so much fun to feel like we're just crafting together. And um, learning from each other. And several of you I watch over and over again. Just because it's my form of TV and I'm learning something and you have delightful personalities and fun stories. So keep your videos coming. I do love watching and I comment every chance I can or at least give you a heart. Okay, so if you can see looking a little messy <laughs> but when it dries I think I can get it a little smoother right now I think if I keep running my brush over it it's just going to end up um, tearing more but I'm going to overlap it some because I really don't mind the texture I kind of like it you know there is a type of painting called fresco and back in the day, the masters would use fresco, which was very textured, um, kind of like stucco. I think that might be kind of nice. But for this one, I'm just going to tuck it in where it looks like it peeled off a little bit. And then I'll probably find out what after the fact that there's a whole special line of this kind of pottery somewhere in the world because you know nothing's new everything has been done there's always just your little take on it so I'm gonna hopefully end up with a successful decoupaged teacup and saucer. Put a little bit more. This pattern is really pretty. It has little butterflies kind of hiding, which in my world means fairy-ish. So there, that worked. And I'm going to tuck this around. Oops. And tuck that around. And then after this dries, I'm going to come back and maybe put slightly larger little um, butterflies or embellishments. Decoupaged, of course and see how that will go. Let's see. All right. Okay, so it's not... I'm going to let it rest here. So I'll turn it over so you can see. Oops. I just wiped it off the handle by accident. Yeah, I'm handling it too much. I need to give it a little rest. So I'll let it dry some, and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm, I think, pretty dry here, and I, what I did was I took some, some napkins that had more prominent butterflies on it, and cut them out, 
I'm sorry I'm all gluey so you're gonna see all this glue all over me but um, so like on the saucer I added the little yellow butterfly and I'm just peeling back the uh, the layers I hope I hope um, I don't know if I'll be able to get this one off or not. I'm going to try. Probably should have done it before. Uh, is it coming apart? Okay, that one's going to be a little stubborn. Let's try a different one. This one will come apart. There we go. So I just want to lay um, some butterflies on top kind of like when I was collaging with the book pages and making it um, so that the butterflies kind of pop out on the on the cup so I have the purple one there and oops I think one here would be nice I'm trying to find a space yeah right I find the camera is what I'm doing. Okay. I'll put one right here. And I think this pink one, even though I think that might be two layers, I think it'll still show up. Not too thick. There we go. Okay. It's kind of pretty. And maybe one more right here. And I think we'll do, let's do the, mm, I think I'll do the monarch. Yeah, except I didn't get any Mod Podge over here. go. Monarchs were my mom's favorite butterfly. There's the monarch. And I'll let him dry for a minute. And we'll put a couple more on the dish. I think I'll put one. I don't really want to put one there because I feel like the cup will cover it up too much. So I'll put one here. Actually, I like the idea of one... No, right here. Yeah. This is a good space. So one there. I don't know what it is about decoupaging. I just love it. I like layering it and I like seeing what what you know like what can be seen underneath it so I'll probably be experimenting with this more um, just for the fun of it so there's one there oops there we go it can go on there and I guess I could even spray this with like some clear spray enamel to really seal it. But I think I'll just let it dry. So can you see? I do have to go over it again just to seal it and make sure everything is glued down nicely. Um, and then I'll probably take a little razor or something to get the rough edges around the lip and then once I do that I think I'll call it finished oh how pretty I love the purple one there I wonder if I should stick a few more on I don't know let's see I do think I should smooth it a little bit more if I can but like I said if it doesn't I'll just say I wanted it that way <laughs> I wanted it textured that's the way you remedy that. 
So there is my decoupage cup and saucer. My little jar of, do you guys ever use that yogurt? Um, of course the name won't come to me, but anyway, it comes in these cute little jars. So you can reuse the jars. Hey, you could decoupage these jars too, couldn't you? Anyway, enough of that. There's my saucer. Here's my cup. Um, again, it's not dry, so I'm kicking up pieces. Maybe I'll do a still photo of it when it's dry and all cleaned up. Let's see, I'll turn it for you here. So you can see. A pretty cup and saucer. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.